GE Healthcare welcomes you to the Carescape V100 Vital Signs Monitor Training Video. With speed, accuracy, and connectivity, the Carescape V100 Monitor helps you manage clinical information logistics by collecting the right information at the point of care and presenting it wherever it's needed. This video is an overview of the monitor's operation and capabilities. The Carescape V100 Vital Signs Monitor provides a small, portable, easy-to-use monitoring alternative for subacute hospital and non-hospital settings. You can use the V100 on adult, pediatric, or neonatal patients to gather current clinical intelligence to help you make fast, quality care decisions. To get started, turn the monitor on by pressing the blue on-off button. To take a blood pressure, You'll need a cuff and the gray-colored hose for adult and pediatric patients or the blue-colored hose for neonates. All GE Criticon cuffs are color-coded for size and have a dotted index line and solid range lines for easy and accurate placement. Remember, the dotted index line needs to fall within the solid range lines. Use of an incorrect cuff size may cause an inaccurate blood pressure reading. Wrap the cuff snugly around your patient's upper arm, allowing space for a finger between your patient's arm and the cuff. After connecting the air hose to the cuff, start a manual mode blood pressure by pressing the green inflate button. In addition to the manual mode, the Carescape V100 monitor has two other blood pressure modes called Auto and Stat. Let's review Auto mode first. In Auto mode, a blood pressure is taken automatically at the time interval that you select. For our patient, we'll change the selection to automatic blood pressures every 15 minutes by pressing the cycle button until 15 appears in the minute window. To return to the manual mode, continue pressing the cycle button until two dashes are shown. To take continuous blood pressure readings over a 5 minute period, press the cycle button until STAT is shown. To stop STAT mode, simply press the green inflate stop button. To determine a patient's oxygen saturation, simply place the SpO2 sensor on your patient's finger opposite the blood pressure cuff. The V100 will automatically begin an SpO2 reading. To the left of the value, you'll see the bars that indicate the strength of the signal. Accurate oral temperature is obtained by placing the covered probe under the tongue to the left or right side of the mouth, deep in the sublingual pocket. It is important that the probe stays in contact with the tissue at all times. Do not allow the patient to reposition the probe. Now let's take a look at the rest of the buttons on the Carescape V100 monitor. Pressing the print button will print the currently displayed values. To print all of the values stored in the monitor, press history and then press print. To change the printer paper, first open the printer door and remove the empty roll. Hold the paper roll and pull out a small amount of paper as a leader. Insert the roll onto the paper holder. Now close the door while holding the paper leader. Press the History button to see any of the last 40 readings. When you press the History button, History blinks underneath the minute window. Inside the minute window, you'll see a negative sign followed by a number. This number represents how many minutes ago the determination was obtained. Here we see that this determination was taken 21 minutes ago. To erase the data contained in the monitor's memory, press and hold the History button for two seconds. The Silence button disables the audible alarms for two minutes. Pressing Silence also clears any active alarms that can be cleared. To view or change the alarm limits, use the Alarms button. Separate systolic and diastolic limits can be set for adults, pediatric patients, and neonatal patients. Pressing the plus or minus buttons will adjust the high or low level alarm limits for systolic, diastolic, heart rate, and SpO2. To view and adjust the target inflation pressure, alarm volume, and pulse volume, press the menu button until the option that you want to change is blinking, then press the plus or minus buttons to adjust. Here we're setting the set point for adult pediatric inflation pressure to 150. The V100 Vital Signs Monitor is designed to be a mobile monitoring solution and can be operated via battery. A fully charged battery will power the monitor for approximately 8 hours. To charge the battery, turn the monitor off and be sure the DC adapter is plugged into the side of the monitor. The charging indicator will be backlit green. When the monitor is on and the DC charger is not attached, the battery OK indicator is backlit green. When there's approximately 45 minutes of battery operation left, the monitor will audibly alarm and the battery low is backlit amber. Pressing the silence button will mute the audible alarm for 10 minutes.
When there is approximately five minutes of battery life left, the battery low indicator will start flashing and the audible alarm becomes more frequent. If you attempt to start a blood pressure determination or use the print function, the monitor will issue an E13 code. This is a reminder that the battery is critically low and needs to be recharged. If you do not plug the monitor in at this time, an alarm will sound and the monitor will shut down until the battery is recharged. Located at the bottom of the monitor are help cards that contain a quick reference guide. These cards are categorized as operation, frequently asked questions, and alarm codes. Additionally, there's a spot for you to write in the department, floor, or ward to which this vital signs monitor is assigned. For further in-depth information about the Carescape V100, please refer to the operator's manual. The Carescape V100 delivers the speed, accuracy, and mobility you require when capturing patient vital signs. By integrating vital patient data into a seamless record of clinical intelligence, the Carescape V100 enables you to access the right information at the right time and place, helping you improve provider performance and patient outcomes. If you have any questions or need any more information, then please contact your local sales representative or visit us on the web at www.gehealthcare.com.